On numbers one through six, you're finding the area of the regular polygon. Um, if you have a radical in your answer, you're just leaving your answer in simplest radical form. Um, remember your formula for finding the area of a regular polygon is one half times the apothem times the perimeter, where perimeter is found by multiplying the side length times the number of sides. So in each one of these problems, you need to identify the apothem, the side length, and the number of sides in order to use the formula. On this video, I'm going to be looking at problems number one and five since they are both equilateral triangles, being regular triangles that makes them equilateral. On number one, you were just given the side length. So I can fill in my side length as 12 inches. The number of sides, of course, is three since it's a triangle. I need to find my apothem. Now, this uh, 30, 60, 90 triangle is not given in your drawing. That's something that you need to draw in there. So you're going to just um, eyeball where the center would be and sketch in an apothem, which, remember, makes a right angle with the side and also bisects the side. So if that whole side is 12 inches, that makes half of it be 6 inches. And draw in a radius um, going to the vertex of the equilateral triangle. Now, since each one of the angles of an equilateral triangle are 60 degrees, and that radius is bisecting that 60-degree angle, your 30-degree angle goes there at the vertex, leaving 60 degrees up here at the center. So it's really important when you're identifying your 30, 60, 90 that you correctly identify where the 30 is and where the 60 is. So the half a side, which is 6 inches, is the long leg of that 30, 60, 90 triangle. I want the side across from the 30 degree angle, which is my apothem, and that's the short leg. So to go from the long leg to the short leg, remember we divide by the square root of 3. So you're going to take 6 and divide by the square root of 3. It's not dividing by 2. Remember that 2 to 1 relationships between the short leg and the hypotenuse. Since we can't have a radical in the denominator, that's when we rationalize by multiplying the numerator and the denominator by the square root of 3. So we would have 6 square roots of 3 in our numerator. The square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is just 3. And then we would simplify the 6 divided by 3, which is 2. So my apothem is 2 square roots of 3. So now I can find the area of that triangle by using my formula, 1 half times the apothem, 2 square roots of 3, times the perimeter, which is the number of sides, times the side length. So we know the 1 half times the 2 is just 1, and they cancel. 3 times 12 is 36, and so my area is 36. Don't forget the square root of 3, and this is area, so my units would be inches squared. On number 5, we also have an equilateral triangle, but this time we're given the radius length. So from the center to the vertex, remember that's the radius. So I sketched in an apothem from that center to the side being perpendicular and remember bisecting that side. Labeling my 30, 60, 90 again correctly, remember that radius is bisecting a 60 degree angle, so there's my 30 at the vertex and 60 at the center. So the radius is across from my right angle, so it's the hypotenuse. I want the apothem, which is across from the 30, that's the short leg. To go from the, uh, the uh, hypotenuse to the short leg, we divide by 2. That's it. So remember, that's where that 2 to 1 relationship exists, is between short leg and hypotenuse. So now I need my side length, um, which I can find half of it by going from short leg to long leg of the 30, 60, 90. So to go from short leg to long leg, I multiply by the square root of 3. So it's just 7 square roots of 3. Since that's half of the side length, I know my side length is just double that. And remember, only the number outside the rad radical would be multiplied by 2. So that's 14 square roots of 3. So now I know my apothem is 7 inches. The side length is 14 square roots of 3 inches. And I have 3 sides. So my area will be 1 half times the apothem times the perimeter, which is the number of sides, times the side length. Be really careful with your multiplication dots. Make sure that they don't look like decimals. So you wouldn't want to look at that as 3.14. So remember, you can do the multiplication in any order. So I can do half of 14, which is 7. And then I can do the 7 times the 7, which is 49. And then the 49 times the 3, which is 147. Of course, you could put that in your calculator as well. Don't forget the square root of 3. Your units were inches, and this is area, so it would be square inches 
for my units.